Hello friends and welcome back to Let's Build Newcrest and welcome to the final part of Newcrest Point Park. So last time we did most of this area, we've I've, I've perfected it off of camera, just tweaked little places like the landscaping under the trees and the terrain paints and whatnot. I've smoothed them out and made them look delicious. Um, I've also fenced in this little like bench area up here with the kind of low fence. I think that looks really cute around that area. Um, I've also made a start on the bandstand. I think this is where we're going to house the chess tables because you have to, with The Sims 4, you have to have chess tables in a park for some reason. Um, I think that's a kind of, kind of American thing, playing chess in a park. I, it doesn't sort of translate well in the UK. Um, or from what I can see anyway. Um, also, this fountain area over here. Now, I got rid of this bench on this side. I've just kept two benches in. Main reasons being it was floating too much and it was annoying me. Um, up here, we're going to be perfecting this today. I'm unsure on what we're going to do here. I was going to use the uh, kind of iron sort of protectants that these trees have got. Uh, but what I'm going to do instead is probably just hedge this area in and perfect on the, la the terrain paints around this area. Now, with the bandstand, I have put all of this kind of foliage around the edges of it. And I've started to climb this sort of base game bush up the actual hill itself which I'm going to kind of litter and go down this way and put a few more trees and whatnot in what else have we been doing I've also perfected this area here so you can see what I've done I uh, this was going to be a picnic area but I'm actually just going to keep the kind of barbecue and picnic area over towards the cafe so then the cafe will get some use out of it and uh, main reasons being it's only going to be a, like a little coffee shop um, I've actually pulled these out of debug as well and I've kind of laid them on the roof. I'm going to try and do something with them and see if I can make it look... It kind of sits into the landscape well then as well. And make the roof kind of a living garden. I thought that would be a great idea. Um, obviously we'll be getting the children's play area done too. We're going to be having this as a little monument to the man who built the park or something. That was what was in my head with the storyline for this. Obviously the landscaping around here as well. I've left out some spaces all around here. And yeah, and the cafe area. So I think that'd be really good. I think that would be really good. Thank you all so much for all your lovely comments on my last build. Um, it's so nice to hear when people can relate to you with any kind of like create like creative block or anything along those lines. It's always really refreshing when people kind of speak up on it and just let people know that they're not alone and this wasn't just for me I just wanted other people to hear it in the comments as well so you guys don't feel like you're alone in your creative block or any kind of sort of like happening like that I thought that was really nice and refreshing to see I will always keep my channel as real as I well I would just keep it 100% real I will always let you guys know where you stand and whatnot I think that's very important um because so many people on YouTube you you think that their life's are perfect and like a fairy tale when in reality it's not always the case it is not always the case and that was yeah i i was it was refreshing it was just refreshing refreshing that's a good word right mm, did i want to yeah i kind of do want to fence that in around there i think that's quite cute actually i'll perfect on this now what i just laid down there my darlings um this one here um what have I've been doing um I've been addicted to a game that I was well not that pleased with when it first came out um No Man's Sky let me know if anybody out there plays No Man's Sky I was so hyped for that game when I first heard about it um and then when it was released it was just awful <laughs> it just wasn't what I was expecting it to be um but it's really improved. They've made so many updates on it in the past kind of three years it's been out. Um, so I downloaded it the other day back onto my computer just to sort of see if it got any better. And my God, it has. I've been having an absolute ball of it. I love it. It's just so chill. It's such a relaxing game. You can just like float around in space. Um, if anybody doesn't know what it is, just go and check out No Man's Sky. Um, yeah, so I am, I am living my best life with that one, I tell you. I, I'm living my best life of it. It is absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, let me know if anybody else plays it out there. I'd be very interested to know. Do I want to put that behind there? No, I don't. Oh, it looks better like that. Like that. 
It looks better like that. But um, but yeah, I've been having a ball. Absolute ball with it. Yeah, that's cute. What can we do around here? Maybe, uh, do you know what would probably be good in this area? A bench. <laughs> There's going to be about 60,000 benches in here. But as I said, benches make a park look parky. And that is where we're going with that. Right, why can you not go any closer? Why do you float? You are nowhere near that terrain. Look, look. So annoying. Oh, that would have been the perfect place for a bench. Maybe there then, instead. Hmm, yeah, I suppose. I would have liked it a bit closer there. But maybe I could do like a, a potted plant or something. Oh, I know what we can use. I think we'll use the um, plants from Get Together, I think they were from. Yeah, these, with the with the flowers. Maybe not in that tone, though. Yeah, something like that. Will you sit nicely in there? Oh, you will. Did I size that down twice? Nope, it was just once. Lovely. Lovely, bloody jubbly. There we go. Lovely. Yes. Okay. Um, There needs to be a lamppost here as well. I think I'm going to put one up here too somehow. Unsure how. We've got a... I'd hate the lamppost to be... Oh. Oh. Yeah, there. Then that fills that space there then. Excuse you. Will you rise? No, you won't. Yes. There we go. Yeah, lovely. Lovely job, play. Okay. Can I put one up there? I'm talking about here. Let's have a look. Let me see if I can squeeze one just in the corner there. Yes. I can. Yeah, that looks nice. I enjoy it. <laughs> I might even try and slot in another bench on this side. Just a bit closer. Obviously, there needs a bin on this area as well. well it's not obvious, but I would like a bin on this area as well. Um, I don't want it too close to the stairs, so it looks better there. It's fine. Right. Bin. I mean, bin. Oh, there needs a bin up there as well. i got to remember to put these bins in. Got to remember to put these bins in for realism. Or should we put it like over this way? Yeah, like there. There we are. Underneath there. And then this bin can go... Should we put it there? Or there? There. Looks better there. Yeah, that's cute. Nice little monument to the... To the man who made this park... Parky. <laughs> Disgraceful. <laughs> um, I do want to put lights on this side. Uh, maybe just a couple. Maybe just one or two. Let me see if I can slot one in, like... I know they're going to eat into the trees here, but... Oh, it does look better, like, here. Yeah, just one there. Some of these, like, lights might be a bit clustered up together, but... Oh, well. That will be fine. Yeah, that's cute. That is really cute. I think we'll just landscape this area in slightly, and the same with, like, sort of down here. Um... Let me see if I can just grab a few of those hedges that I was using. See if I can just slot them in this little bit here. Not really. No. Maybe if I just size them down. They do float though. No, that looks awful. That looks awful. Eh. That should be alright actually. It should be fine. What I'll do instead is maybe... I could use a hedge here instead of a fence actually. Yeah, why don't we do that? Why don't we do that, my darlings? Slot you in there. Do I want to do it along there as well? Maybe just where it's earthy. Like to about there. And then the rest can be fence. Yes. I'm not even going to delete it behind it because you can't really see it anyway. But I am going to just terrain paint just under it. Just ever so slightly. Oh. Oh. Where are you? Oh. Eh. <laughs> oh I, was, I didn't have it selected. Aiden, you're a silly bum. Yeah, if I do that under there, like so. Like so, all along to there. Yeah, cute. Just that little bit. I can see it was not agreeing with me. Yeah, that's pretty cute. I mean, I could just do like a random little pop of flowers here and there, maybe. Just like, up, like on the flatter levels, like around here. I could size a few down. I love this one. This is a great landscaping um, 
object, this little pink flower bush. Great little, great little number that. Yeah, and then I'll cluster one around here. Maybe just bring it into that area just there. I am going to mix up these flowers as well. It's not just going to be pink there. Yeah, that looks cute. And then I could just do it maybe up a bit higher, actually, like there to there. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. And one of you. Um, Let's not creep you through. Let's size you down. There we go. And again, a little another, another one. That looks lovely. Yeah, see, that still adds a little bit of detail. Just stops it from looking too sort of blank. If you know what I mean, like this area would have been quite blank looking. Um, Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. I am. I won't lie to you. Here we go. And another one here. Now, I'm unsure on what I'm going to build next. I don't know if I want to go and build a commercial lot for the next one. So what I'll do is I'll leave a poll um, in the community tab. And I'll let you guys vote on what to build next. Now, I do know what I want in the areas or around like these areas. And um, this one here, I want to do a retail street. Now, we won't be doing that first because it will be quite a big build, that one. I was thinking about doing one of these lots over here. Um, so I'm, I will be building a commercial lot the next time. And then we'll go back and do some more residential lots in the other places. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. I think it needs a tree down here. I'm thinking a tree. Like... Like here. Yeah, I think it does. It's good of a nice tree there. Um, and the same here, but maybe one of those misquit trees. <laughs> misquit. Misquit. I never know how to say it. <laughs> never know how to say it. Maybe just tuck this one just in right into that corner. Is that going to eat through or anything weirdly? I would like the bit of it exposed actually I think that could be quite nice oh that does eat weirdly there so maybe if I do rise it up just slightly yeah that should be fine yeah that looks better now why don't we start with the children's play area now with the children's play area I'm unsure I really wanted to use the toddler like thingy but I know that toddlers don't really come to a park like unless they're like I'd never see toddlers around the world unless um yeah, I don't, I don't see toddlers around the world at all. So I'm wondering, do we want to bring this in? Because it will be practically unusable unless there are toddlers afoot. Um, I know I want to use swings. I'm thinking this one here would probably fit in best with this park. Should we just put it in anyway? It looks good, doesn't it? It does look good. It's bloody massive though. It's bloody massive. If I can put it into like there. It does really suit this park. And they are going to be getting... I, I reckon I could get a swing and a climbing frame in here maybe. Um, Maybe if I use it in a... Yeah, we'll just use it in a dark brown. I could put that there. And then hopefully I'll be able to slide a, a swing on the other side. Where are the swings? Um, I have no idea. Where to find them? Oh, there they are. Uh, what do we use? We used like a dark wood, didn't we? So does it come in a dark wood? Or even a black? Yeah, black. Oh, they do fit in quite nicely. Oh, that's perfect. I didn't even test this out either. So I'm glad that... And then we could do like a row of benches for the parents along there. Yes. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Can we like just tuck that in just a little bit more? I think we could. Yeah, we bloody can. This one here is in as far as it can go, yep. It's a shame that kids can't use this as well, but not all has failed because kids do have this as well. I am kind of like paying mind to, to I know that we've got that there. Yeah, I think so. Okay, right, we're going to use the same benches. These benches have been working really well for this particular lot. Maybe just get in two of these. One there. And one there. Um, That looks a bit weird. How far do you come out? You come to there. So that's in the perfect place. Maybe I just need to skirt that in a bit more. There we go. God, well, that was easy, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's going to be cute. Again, another little bin. Little bin area there. Um, 
I think I do want to get another tree in this area as well, so I might just plop, plop, plonk. I know that you guys have been enjoying that word. A plonk another tree in this side. Um, but yeah. And also, going back to creativeness, <laughs> or creativity, um, it's came back again. <laughs> I've been really inspired the past few days. Um, when it does come to builder's block, I, I don't really get it all that often. But, oh my god, when I do, I've said to a few of you guys in the comments, it literally feels like it slaps you in the face and I'm just like, sat there like dribbling, not knowing what to do. But it's kind of crept back in and I'm feeling very creative again. So in the next couple of weeks, do expect some speed builds to coming out. I know I've left the, the speed builds off for a while. Um, but I know how much you guys are enjoying this sort of like format too. But I do really want to uh, make sure that I am speed building a lot as well. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> the end. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Do I? Oh, that's going to be weird. I just didn't want to bunch up too many there. Maybe if I just do this one here and then this one close to it as well. Does that look weird? Oh. Yes, it does look weird. So, what about in the middle? One there. It's going to be close to that one, but it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. And then, obviously, this all needs to be terrained. I thought I terrained that off of camera. I didn't look. I did not. So we're going to do it now. We're going to do it now, my loves. Uh, is that the smallest it can go? It seems very large. There we go. Let's move your dune. Just bordering in this edge. Just roughly for the meantime. That's a weird ass path. I do not enjoy that. So we're going to smooth that out too. Um, is that working? Oh, it's because it's on the, the softest of all softnesses. <laughs> the softness of all softnesses. Maybe I have to do stairs here. Maybe if I, well, let me, let's get the grid on. Maybe if I, like, do that to there. Come on, come down. I might have to do that like that. And then if I can just raise you up. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do stairs there, which is not too bad. I didn't really want to do stairs there, but we're going to. And I'll use the same stairs as what we had over here, because it... Just matches in with the aesthetics very nicely. Um, and I'm going to do a two wide. Yeah. Okay, that's better. And then I'm going to maybe just... Um, in fact, what I could do here. Because there is quite a lot of wasted space here. If I just pull this all the way along. And then I can... Bring you to there. I reckon maybe one more in. Because I reckon I can get stairs from there then. Like so. And if I bring these to there. Oh, like a glove. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah, this will all have to change now, the terrain around there. But I can now use this. And a little tip for you. Because these don't come with a matching railing for the stairs, if you manage to get the landscaping perfect by the stairs, which half the time it does do, you can always just use these as like a railing. I know it just stretch quite weirdly, but it's better than having none there at all. You can see I've done it all over there too. Um, so that is where we're going with that. All right, I'm going to take you to there. And the same with you. And then up there. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks cute. I'm happy with that. Get the grid on so we can see what we're bloody doing. Right there to there. Same here, look. All the way up to there. Um, Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cute. It's going to be weird there, though. So maybe, actually. Or oh, in fact, let me just flatten this down to that level. That, that would be easier. Um... Is that going to be weird there? As it does look a little bit janky. A little bit janky. Not a fan. 
Yeah, we'll just do it like that. That's fine. That's fine. It will be fine. And then I'll do this all the way along again. Up those little stairies. And then to there. And then once we've got the terrain paint all right on that bit, it will look delicious. Yeah. Okay, right, let's get that terrain paint on. So we're going to use the same stone as what we have been using throughout the whole of this build. Um, what am I doing? What am I doing? I know it. Right, yep, this one into there. Um, ah, I should have. Right, go away. I'm just going to terrain paint you first before I put the stairs down. Oh, it's not going to. No. Oh, well. Oh, well. Right. Oh, not on that bit. We'll perfect that in a sec. Um, And then I can go straight across here. Don't really mind that. We can't sort of border it right up there. That doesn't really bother me. It does bother me. But I'm trying to not let it. <laughs> Do I want to drag that fence behind these benches as well i don't know i'm unsure so what i'm gonna do in the meantime is just do it like that oh girl um in fact i think i'm going to in fact in fact <laughs> i think i'm going to <laughs> uh yeah yeah that's fine mm-hmm okay yeah that looks cute obviously we need to train that area a little bit better and we'll landscape this area too. So let's get the terrain paints back on. Under paintage. Do, oh, no, that one. Eh, eh. This one here. Let me just drag that all around there. Like that, we'll color in you as well. Color in. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Right, all the way along. All the way along. Um, there we go. And then, do I want to do that bit as well? No, I kept that free for a reason. Unsure as to the reason just yet, but it's there. Right, underneath this tree. Eh. Oh, underneath here as well. So satisfying. Oh, I love a bit of terrain painting. And it's nice to hear that so many of you did as well, because I was worried it was going to be a little bit boring. But you guys are like, no, <laughs> I love it. Carry on, as you were. Um, We'll do it here as well. Oh, God. Yikes. All the way along to there. We'll come back to that. Come back to that. Um, Here. All the way along to there. Yeah, into there. And then what I'm going to do is soften it with a bigger paintbrush, softer edge, and just soften up those edges with the sort of broken grass. And then what I did after that, I'll show you in just a sec. Let me just do this. Let me soften up that as well, look. See what I mean? It just blurs the harsh edges away. This might be just a little bit too harsh still. That's better. Same there. Same on these little bits. Lovely. And same there. Um, and here. Just blurs that harsh earthy line away. And then what I've been doing is going in with a darker green and just going next to the earth. I mean, the sort of like broken earth bits there. And I feel it just helps settle in the tones a lot more. Lovely, 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 loveliness. Lovely. Right, okay. So let's start landscaping in this little area down here. Of just thinking about maybe just getting in some of those hedges from Island Living. I thought there was either there, like the red ones. Maybe sizing them down. How do you fit there? Oh, you kind of do. I don't mind that they go around the railing as well. That kind of looks cute to me. 
I love these hedges. I think they're gorgeous. Should I box this area in with that? Hmm. I'm unsure. Hmm. Maybe if I just do two kind of either end. Like so. And there. And then I can put in some, maybe some like fun. They've got like the elephant. Well, they have got the dog and cat ones, but they're quite small, aren't they? Yeah, they are. How big's the elephant? Ah, that looks cute. Yeah, I could do these like facing each other. Yeah, I enjoy that. I do. I bloody enjoy it. Yeah, that looks nice. Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, oh, bloody hell. I have not even approached on the message of... Uh, are you guys looking forward to seeing the Realm of Magic trailer? Do I want to box them in like that? No. We'll keep them open and we'll just do low lying. Yeah. Um. Obviously, Realm of Magic is going to be coming soon. And we do have a trailer coming. Well, you would have watched it by now because this is probably going to be out on the same day, maybe a bit later. But yes, Realm of Magic. Magic is coming to The Sims 4. And I can't bloody wait. I'm so excited. Um, I think my next speed build will be along the lines of something like that. I'd love to build like a witch's like a pocket or something. Something like that. Something fantasy. I'm in the mood to build something fantasy. Um, so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out for that, my loves. <laughs> it's going to be glorious. There we go. Yeah, that looks cute there. Just a little bit of fantasy. Okay. Um, mm, let's landscape underneath these trees here. Now, what did I use over here? So, low laying flat. Let's just plonk you down roughly. Where was I? It was there. Low lane flowers. Uh, the pink ones and the daisies. I just think that looks really cool together. Those three objects. Where did I plonk you? I plonked it there. There we go. Just pulling out all of these. And a whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisies. Yeah. If I... No, not you there. Where's that tree where I was going to do it? There. Look. Oh, this is going to be hard. This is going to be weird to do, so I might have to climb these up around the tree's edge just to blend in the floatiness of it. I wish that tree would stop disappearing so I can see where to place them. My goodness. There we go. Uh, bloop. Blip. Blip. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, laughing at myself. <laughs> yeah, bit of you there, lovely, stunning. All about that. Bit of daisy, bit of whoops, bit of whoopsie daisies. And a bit of the, bit of the pinker azalea. Azalea? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Lovely. Yes. Yeah, see, that was just, just adding a few of those little plants and just made all the difference there. Yes, I'm for it. Okay, right. I'm not going to go over to this side just yet. I'm not going to do the cafe just yet. I'm going to say what I was... I'm going to do what I said I was going to do and start laying in these hedges along this, like, walkway towards the gazebo or the bandstand, whatever you may call it, from whichever country you may reside in. Um, if I can just lie these. We'll get them roughly and then I'll tweak them. There we go. So, yeah, I've laid them all along. Um, I think it just maps in that area nicely. I think we need to just tweak these just a little bit. Oh, oh. <laughs> sounded awful. <laughs> sounded bloody awful. There we go. Just, just slightly. There we go. Lovely. I wasn't going to... I'm not going to do it on this area here. I think I'll just finish it off by, like, plonking in some of those pink gorgeousness of flowers that like, onto the edges just around here 
See, and it just finishes the edges of like certain places where it would look a little bit weird if there was nothing there. Like this, for example, looks strange, but just plonking a couple of these in. It just finishes the edge off nicely, I think. Um, might just do one more, just here. Just one. Just to bend it round. Just to bend it round there. And then I can finish that off as well with a little pink number at the end. A little, just a little one. <laughs> just a cheeky one. And a cheeky one there. Um, and again with these like sort of like trees and stuff, we, I will still put landscaping around them. And then we'll go and perfect the terrain paints in a sec. Push that off there, lovely. See, it's all about details, my darlings. Um, do I want to put a few of these like in amongst this? I think I do. Yeah, I think I bloody do. Oh, that looks cute. I'm here for it. I am. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here for it. There we are. Lovely. Yes. Yes, yes. Right, and there. And we'll do the same landscaping around these trees as what we've just been pl pl plonking around the whole park. Low lying. We're bringing this right down to like here. Like there, look. And on this side. Like around there. Yes. And there. I don't think I'm going to bring the daisies up here, though. I think I'll just keep it as is. Lovely. One there. And one there. And here. I'm going to go into there as well. Let's start spinning because they're all going to be a bit more uniform. A bit too uniform. They are. And that's going to bug me. There we go. And then just a little bit here. Come here. Oi. And there. Yes, that looks cute. Okay, obviously the ter the uh, train paints need to be done. <laughs> I had a brain fart then, a big brain fart. Okay, so chess tables. What ones? These ones? I do like them, but they come in awful. Mm, they would probably look better here, actually. Let's get the grid on. We could do like one there. What about if I put them like on either edge, like so? And then chair wise, I could use the the one the parky ones. <laughs> you know, the parky the parky chairs. Like these here. Would you come in something that wouldn't oh doesn't necessarily have to be in white. Yeah, I enjoy that. Um, one, two. One, two. One, and two. And then this needs a light in, but I really want the light to look kind of outdoorsy. So I wonder what we could use for the outdoor light. Not CC, this is CC free. Something hanging that could look outdoorsy. Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go for this one. This is from Cats and Dogs, so it's kind of nautical. Does it give off enough light? I think it does. I think it does. It's quite dark going up this way. So what I will do is try and get in some more lampposts about it looking weird. Maybe if I plonk one like there. Yeah, I am going to just shuffle it and make it sort of parallel to the path. Yeah, that's a bit better. Yeah, that's really cute. I enjoy that. Um, But yeah, with the... You can see what I did with the uh, gazebo. Um, I kind of just plonked in some of those roof details. Uh, I think they were from Strangerville. That's from Get Together. And the fencing and stuff's from Get Famous. I just thought the fencing looked really well with it. Looks really cute. Yeah. 
And then there's an activity there then as well, which is cool. Okay, right, I'm just going to climb a bit more of these base game bushes up the sides of this sort of like earthy hill. And I might try and mix up some white flowers in with this somehow. I'm unsure I'm going to do that, but we're going to do it anyway. Oh, how dare you? Oh, God, that's not going to... There we go. And what I do with these is I kind of layer these up, rotate them round. And it just helps climb up some landscaping onto like these weird overexposed earthy areas that I do not enjoy. Um, I'm still waiting for the day where we can just terrain paint everything because I could paint this to look like a grassy hill then instead of having that awful earth coming out. I hope that we can do that. I was so pissed off because when I was at Sims camp, um, I really thought that you could terrain paint everything. Like that, that was my like understanding of it. And then, you know, they shat all over my dreams. They took a big steaming poop upon my dreams. <laughs> yes, definitely need some white flowers though. And I have tucked some underneath here, I think. No, I haven't. Where's the daisies? Pretty little daisies. There we are. Pretty little daisies. These sit into landscape really well. Maybe if I can just scatter a few of these next to them. Just slightly. Yeah, that looks cool. Maybe just like a few more just like around there. Same here. Rotating all the while. Letting my eye do the work for me. Excuse me, I just did an indoor burp. An indoor burp? <laughs> an inside burp. An indoor burp. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm going to size one up. There we are. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. A little bit better. All through there, look. Lovely. 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 Um, and I think I'm going to do the same here with the base game bush too. Yeah, I am. One second, I'm not going to show you again. And there we go. So I've just perfected that area a little bit more. I think what I'm going to do now is just tr just terrain paint this to make it sit into the landscape well. Um, so using the same techniques as that we've been using throughout this whole build. Mapping in that area nicely there. For a start and the same up to there. Lovely. All along here. It's a little bit too soft. Let's get you up again. There we go. That's better. Um, Underneath all of those landscaping that we've put in. Lovely. Um, There. Lovely, lovely. There we go. The terrain paint's kind of perfected. You can see I've kind of placed hedges along here. And just grabbed a few of these. Uh, base game bushes out again uh, just to kind of like stop this area from looking weird around the earthy bits and by the benches and I kind of mapped out a little bit more with the hedges just on the edges of this sort of pathway and it's just brought it to life a little bit more Um, I thought that was the best way to go about it best way to go about it definitely need another bench up here I mean <laughs> don't need another bench we definitely need another bin up towards that area I would say if I was a park Parkitect. <laughs> um, so we'll do that in just a sec. We'll do that in just a sec. Let me just stagger these just around these areas just to stop this looking a little bit weird. And then I will mix a few of these in with this green just to break up the darkness of this green. And then bring one just to the front here. There we go. That's better. Yes. Okay. Um... Another bin. There's no benches up there, so it doesn't make sense to really have a bin there. Where are you? There we go. Come here and you can go maybe, yeah, just there. And it hides that weird fence as well that goes up. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, cool. Uh, obviously, I want to get another lamppost around this area as well. So maybe if I do one like there. And one like in there if i'll put it that way yes okay let me just see how well that's lit around that area yeah that should be fine that should be fine they should be able to see where they're going anyway 
I think the, for the last bit, I know that we need some patio chairs, patio table. Um, so we'll do, we'll finish off the cafe or the coffee shop. Um, as I said, I really want this cafe to have a real like kind of outdoory vibe to it. So keeping it in dark woods, I would say. Keeping it in or as dark as we can get it. Is that too chocolatey? I think it is. Mm, yeah, that's too, too chocolatey. If I use this. Um, and I'm going to have like a living roof with like loads of plants and stuff. I'm going to hang plants down by the side of it and things. Um, floor, I think for the actual outdoors, we'll stick to a nice dark wood. This is one of my favorites. I'm just wondering if it will go okay. Yeah, it will. Lovely. We'll do it on the inside as well. We'll do it on the inside there. And then on the outdoors, we'll do a wood on the outdoors as well. Um, unsure of what wood to use though. Very unsure. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that was there. That was hard. That was hard to pick that then. That took forever. <laughs> I need to change that foundation. I bet there's someone out there like, oh my God. He's not changed that foundation. And then roof wise. <sighs> do I do a trim? Do I do a trim? I think I will. I don't think I'll do a jutting. I think I'll do a simple trim. Not in that tone. A bit darker. There we go. Yeah. And then I'm going to make the top of this earth because then I'm going to litter loads of like plants and stuff around it. Wrong one. That one there. Yes, queen. Uh huh. Obviously, we need to do some stairs here too. But I was unsure. Oh, I'm going to stop sitting on my legs now. Um, Shall I use those stairs? No, we'll use wooden stairs. Will that fit in? I love not being able to cycle, not having to cycle through swatches sometimes. It makes me very happy. Oh, we'll do three. Yes. And then fence wise, I'm, I think I'll do glass on this side. Yeah, we'll do glass on this side. And then on the other side, I think I want to use a wood. Main reason for putting glass on this side is that then it's kind of uninterrupted views out to the, the lake that is here. While also being secure. Uh, yeah, no, that looks fine. That looks fine. In fact, I'm just going to do glass all around it. I am. You watch me. Like to there. I'm not going to use them um, any banister on the actual stairs themselves, though. I'll keep them like that. Yes. Okay. Let's get some windows in this shop. Now, I think the entrance is going to go here. I think that's pretty self explanatory. I think I might use the dine out door. Uh, where are you? Um, I always struggle looking for this door. There it is. Um,. There is unmatching woods. Uh, that'd probably be the best. Like that. In fact, I'm gonna do a half wall here. I'm gonna do a half wall into that size. Is that a bit too no, that's fine. Yeah, we'll do that into there. And then I'm gonna do a half wall. And is that the same height? It is. But I'm gonna kind of have pockets of half wall. So like say to there. Yes. But maybe all of this. Maybe all of that. Let's have a look. Yes, I like that. Okay. Um, I can just paint all of this as well. Oh god. Oh, oh, I need to save. That just froze a little bit too much for my liking then. Save the game. There we go. I always hate the turning cog of death. <laughs> Expecting your game to crash when you save. Oh god, that's happened to me countless times. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I'm not even going to put in any kind of pillars. I'm going to keep that all panoramic and open. Now, I know these are creeping through here, but... Eh. I still enjoy the way that this looks on here. Especially when I put some vegetation up there. I think it's going to look good. I think it will. Now, wall trim-wise... 
Uh, what colour should we get? Will that match in? Oh, it does. Lovely. There we go. Finished. Bye. <laughs> Lovely job play. Yes. Okay. Right, let's get the barista bar in. Um, I can't remember where it is, so I'm going to go and search for it now. Okay. So I've got the barista bar out. Um, I've just used these counters just to extend this a little bit. And I have changed the shape. I've pulled the door out just so there's more room here for your sims to be able to get in and buy coffee and whatnot. Now, to make this area work, you will have to hire a sim in to work the barista bar. But mm, I don't really mind that so much. Do not mind that so much. My thoughts were actually putting some bar stools along here as well. I thought that could be pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So we're going to do that. Now I need something that's going to be kind of easy to put on the outdoors. Maybe this one. I know this one. Can't... Yeah, there we go. Look. Oh, is that... Eh, that's all right, actually. I wasn't keen on the the metal frame of that then, but I think that will be fine. It kind of matches in with the metal frame on the counter space anyway. So, yes, I'm feeling that. Feeling that. Above it, let's get some lights in this room. I think we're going to use the same ceiling lamp throughout the whole of this. Um, and maybe this one. If I can do a row of these indoors. One there. One there. One there. One there. And then we'll do the same here. One. Two. Oh, maybe. I reckon I could fit four in here. Evenly spaced, maybe. In fact, just, just do five. <laughs> Let's just do five. Yep, they're all on the ceiling, which is always good. All on the ceiling. Let's just see that in the... Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad. I think up on the wall, um, we'll get the... They've got like sort of like shelving units with coffee mugs and stuff in them. I think we'll just stick a few of them around and maybe a... Like a menu or something. I think that all came with get together. Um, could be complete. Nope, there's, that's not a menu. There is one that looks like a menu though, isn't it? Yeah, we'll just use that. We'll plonk that over this side. So there is some detail here. Um, okay. And then these ones here with my thoughts of using these. Maybe in a black, actually. Maybe in a black. And then I'll, I'll do another one. I'll do one of these over this side. I don't want this to be too heavily detailed. Yes. Yes, that's cute. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And then I'm going to do a row of these down here as well. Maybe in the middle. Yeah, let's do it. And um, one, two, and three. Yes. And then some dining room tables and chairs out here. Just two sort of person ones as well. I think that should be fine. Do we want to use these here? Yeah, I think we will. Let's get it back into daytime, shall we? Oh, I don't know, actually. In fact, we've got matching chairs, haven't we? I think. Could be completely wrong. But I'm sure we've got matching chairs to these. Have we? Oh, we have, look. There we go. There they are. That's not the right one. That one is. Okay. And then table wise. Let me see if this is counting. Patio table. There we go. Um, Just a nice square one. A nice square one. Oh. I mean, that is a little bit of a different wood, but I can see past that. Don't know about you guys, but I can. One there. One, there, you, there, boop, 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 lovely, and then we'll do, can we fit two on this side? I reckon we could, one there, and one there, and then a boop, yes, yes, and then I think what I'm going to do is just do some decorations into uh, dine out. I think it, yeah, it is dine out. And then I could do some menus. Oh, that would have been better actually than that one. In fact, we can put this one outside. Yeah. But size you down. Plonk you to about there. Yes. 
And then where are those little cheeky... There they are. These ones here. Just little menus. Little menus on the table. I'll put a few up on the bar as well, I think. Right around here. Here. And maybe just one, like, turn to, like, there. So it's a bit random, you know. Um, yeah. Um, need to be a bin. I'm going to put a bin there. So I am going to grab one of you. Bring you down to here. Plonk you around about there. Yeah, so that all I've done is just pulled out a sign from Dine Out and then just dropped down some greenery from it. I just think that looks cute. I'm glad that we kept this kind of area free. I kind of enjoy the way that this roof line's looking. Um, what I do want to do, though, is just get a couple of picnic benches in here and maybe put a barbecue in this corner here. Um, I think that would be a pretty good way to go about it. Um, and I think that, my darlings, would be it. Uh, I'm gonna, I was just about to say, I'm going to use the picnic bench with the umbrella there. I thought, yeah, the green one. <laughs> Again, the swatches are working for me today. I think we'll do like maybe two, just a bit spaced out. Should we pull them this way? Yeah, I think this way. And then we'll do a little cheeky barbecue over into this corner area. Um, Yeah, maybe one just like that. Maybe do two. That's quite squeezed in there, though, isn't it? In fact, what I'm going to do is pull you along. And get two just here. Right by the toilets. <laughs> because, you know. Hygiene. <laughs> yeah, that looks better. Yes. Yes. Okay. What I'm going to do now is just add in a few more trees just around this area over here. Um, I'm going to put one in like there. One in just behind these benches. Around there. And then bring one. In fact, I'm going to mix it up and use an exquisite tree over this side. Just around. There. It's going to be eating through it quite a bit. Can they walk down there? Yeah, they can. Yeah, that's cute. Obviously, it's cutting in a bit to that there. Let me have a look at that. That's better. Yes. And then, obviously, some lighting. Just by the toilet area, like the public toilets. So, if I do, if I can push this right along, I can put in two then. Let's have a little look at you at night. Yes. Okay. I think we're done. I'm going to choose the traits for this lot as well. I think um, a teen neighborhood would be quite good. Wherever that one is, I can never find it. There we go. Teen neighborhood. Sunny aspect to get them all amped up. And some child's play. Kids learn faster here. Well, that doesn't really make sense, does it? I great we're doing it. We're doing it. I think that would be fine. Right. Okay. Let's go and take a little stroll through the park, shall we? So we can have a little look around at things. Um, there might maybe things tweaked off of camera and stuff, but for now, I think it's looking pretty cute. Yes. Okay. So we've got this little like pond area over here. Pretty sweet. And then up into the little bench area over there. Could do with some landscaping around that bit, actually. Now I'm looking at it. But nothing too much. A little fountain area for your sims to come and play in the fountain. Cute. Um, We'll go down that way in a sec. I just want to walk across this way, the bandstand. Oh, that looks cute. So obviously a place for your sims to come and hang out and play chess. With the best view of the park. Um, let's go down these stairs over this way. So, yep. Here. We have a little monument for the man who made the park parky. <laughs> a children's play area. Pretty standard. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Lovely. Yeah, this area is good. Obviously, let's just have a little look at these stairs coming down. That could be smoothed out just slightly there. 
benches. Yes. Guys, I think we are done. I think we are done. Newcrest Point Park is complete. Well done. Yes. Okay. Right, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway. Thank you guys for joining me on this adventure. I really appreciate your patience, especially with this episode. Um, I'll start recording soon and we'll get on to the next commercial lot. Um, don't forget, I'll be leaving a poll down below in the description box. This park might not be on the gallery as soon as you see this video because remember you guys, remember guys, I've got that weird glitch in my game at the minute because of one of C the pieces of CC that is showing that there is CC on the lot when there's not. So I do need I do need to go in and do a clear out of some of the CC that I have downloaded to make sure uh, or find out what one the problem is. So as soon as that happens, I will put in the community tab that this park is on the gallery. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm going to leave you now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.